Hey guys, it's Kip here from KDC Marketing, and today I wanna to show you how to create a sitemap in Figma. So if you have Figma, you know that it's a great tool, very easy to use, creating sitemaps is no different. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your Figma account under the project that you want on the left-hand side, and then you're gonna click this button, Fig Jam Board. So we're gonna create a new Fig Jam Board. And a sitemap is just a, a layout of all the different pages on a website so that you can see that represented visually. So we're gonna start with a shape. I'm just gonna drag this out here, and we're gonna have this be our home page. And then let's say that we need an about page. We need a contact page. We need a blog page and a store page. So as, as I'm doing this, you can see I'm just clicking on the home page shape. And as I click it, I get these different arrow options. And I'm just clicking the down arrow and I'm picking the shape that I want and I am adding in the, the page. So these would be the second level pages. I'm gonna go ahead and center these. And then let's say underneath the store page, we needed three different product pages. So again, I'm gonna use this down arrow going to do product one, this one, product two, and this one, product three. Okay, so here we have our simple sitemap in Figma, and I'm going to change up the colors of these since they're secondary pages to red. I'm going to change these ones to green. Oops wrong color and so here is our our sitemap that we have now let's say you're creating the sitemap for a client you might want to put the client's name up here with the text box and get that looking good okay and then once our sitemap's ready and we have all the pages outlined how we want them and we have it visually represented how we want then we can Go ahead and export this file out. So, so I'm going to go over here to the icon side in Figma and over to File and do Export As. And I like to do PNG and I like to keep the grid. You can do it transparent, solid, but I like to keep the grid. And we're doing the entire, entire area. So once we export that, this is how it will show up. So it looks very professional, looks great, and, and you, can, you can do anything you want as far as formatting, colors, shapes, and let's say one other thing I wanted to show you too is let's say you wanted to create another page to the side of this page. You just click the side arrow and then that arrow is there. But let's say you wanna have another shape all the way over here. So I'm just gonna grab a triangle and just put it out here. And then if I if I just click and, and hold, I can draw this, I can connect this to the home page or to any page out there. So if you'd rather just add them manually like this and have a couple different different nodes connecting to those shapes, you can do it that way. And you can also get everything lined up. Figma makes that super easy. And these shapes would act just like the other ones we could add text onto them. So we could say random page. And we could do another random page. So if you'd rather do it by um, adding, adding the nodes by just clicking and dragging, you can also do that. Or you can click on the shape itself and have the arrows come out to create a new, a new shape. So it's so, so simple. Really love uh, using Figma for sitemaps and uh, then you have it exported and you have it saved and you can always come back and update this if you need to. And there you go.